Moving to America has changed her life completely. Don't worry, that woman is not me. Yes, unfortunately, I am not that lucky. I will just call this Chinese lady B in this video, okay? So B, she was born and raised in China. How did I know B? Um, I knew her through work a couple of years ago. You know, she is not really my friend, but she, uh, yeah, I knew her from work. And you know, Chinese people just love adding each other's WeChat. We added each other's WeChat, uh, we, we didn't really talk much. I think uh, for the past couple of years, I talked to her probably about three times in total. Yeah, nothing else. How did I know what is going on with her current life? Uh, because on WeChat, you can post whatever you want about your life, about your job, or about your family. It is similar to Instagram or Twitter, whatever. Through all her posts these years, I understand that she is living a quite happy and a decent life right now. Uh, why would I say that normal people just happy and uh, living a decent life, right? No, 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 not about her case. When I met her back in China a couple of years ago, she was in her early 40s. She was not married, she was not divorced, no children either. And back then she was in a really... Um, toxic relationship because she was dating someone who had a wife back then. Yes, I know, I know what you're thinking about. You must be thinking, oh my God, what do you deserve? But yeah, you know, everything is just so complicated. I can't really judge, you know. So back then she was dating someone who had a wife and a son. And you know what? As usual, the man would promise that he would leave his wife ASAP and it turned out he couldn't leave his wife for some reasons. For example, uh, if he left his wife, he would lose everything he has, uh, stuff like this. So eventually, eventually this guy, he came back to his wife because he couldn't bear the life without money, you know? So don't tell me money is not important. That guy, he said, I love you so much. You know, I don't love my wife at all. I don't have sex with my wife at all nowadays. Unfortunately, as usual, this kind of relationship doesn't work out. It didn't turn out well. So she was heartbroken, she was hopeless, she was desperate, basically she just locked herself in the bedroom, you know, crying every day. Honestly, it, it is quite pathetic and quite sad, I would say. And she was doing some shitty job. I'm not trying to judge, okay? I respect everyone's profession. Yeah, what I'm trying to say is that her salary was really low back then. I mean, especially for her age um, because she she doesn't have any education or degree, you know? Um, I think her education was probably high or uh, middle school or something. Yeah, um, once again, I'm not judging. I was really, really sorry for her, honestly. I felt a lot of sympathy for her, for her situation. And, and it was a couple of years ago. After after a couple of months of heartbroken, you know what? One day she told me, uh, Joe, guess what? I'm going to the United States. I was like, what? How? How come? What type of visa? Because the chance of her getting an American visa is quite low, honestly, okay? You are unmarried at 40s and you didn't have a proper job and you didn't have a partner. How if you just want to stay in our beautiful America forever? How if you just wanted to abuse our system, huh? Stay here and marry someone and not working, not paying tax like the rest. Huh? So honestly, I was quite shocked when she told me that she was going to the United States. Then B, she told me that she paid some Chinese agent to prepare her documents for the American visa. Uh, all the information she needed, they would prepare for her. I don't know how the agent did it or how they prepared all the documents she needed for that visa. All I know is that she paid a lot of money on this visa, on this agent, okay? So normally, an 
American visa, it costs you around two to three hundred US dollars. Okay, uh, if you apply in China or overseas, probably the same. But she paid around um, a couple of thousands of dollars to get that American visa. I'm not sure. Actually, I don't remember what type of visa she was holding. But anyways, she was very lucky. She was very fortunate. She got the visa and you may ask how did she get all those money? Uh, don't worry, she borrowed money from her relatives and family because she was so determined to move overseas. She was so firm that I have to go to the USA, USA to change my life, okay? To have a completely start over, to have a completely brand new life, yes. Here you go, she's living in America happily ever after and then she arrived in America safe and sound and everything was brand new for her. You know, even though she couldn't really speak English, she was learning English, she was looking for jobs. Uh, at the beginning, she was with her relatives who are already in America and she was helping them in the restaurant, you know, being waitress or some kitchen help, stuff like this. And one day she told me that that she was dating someone who is much younger than her. Back then she was in her early 40s. So that guy I think was probably in his 30s, early 30s. And of course I congratulated her as her new life just started in a brand new country. You know, as usual, I am such a kind person. Unfortunately, this romantic love story didn't last long, maybe because he was much younger than her and he still wanted to have fun, wanted to party, and she wanted to get married and settle down. That's why they broke up. Honestly, I don't know. I have no idea at all. All I know is that she told me he is quite good in bed. And after that, she disappeared a little bit, you know, she didn't post much on WeChat. Uh, so I had no idea what was going on with her life. Yes, WeChat, if you want to spill any secrets about your life or privacy, just post as many as you want, okay? People can just spy on you. People like me yeah, can spy on you, know what is going on with your life. <laughs> and then, less than one year of her arrival in the United States, she posted something really romantic. So she was with a guy who is much older than her. I assume he is at least 10 years older than her. Basically, she was stating, oh, finally I found the love of my life, even though it took so long, but I'm so glad I finally met you. Dudu, Dudu, yeah, Dudu is the guy's name I made up. And you know what, guys? Ever since then, ever since then, her life has changed completely, yes. So, she quit her job and then she started doing some course, learning English. They traveled around, so romantic and so chilling, you know, completely different. And that guy, he owns a property in America. I'm not sure which state. I don't really remember. As I told you, my geography is a pain in the ass. Anyways, all I know, this property, it is not in those popular cities, tourist cities, those um, internet famous cities like Hollywood city. No, 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 not at all. Okay. So this guy, he has a decent job. He owns a property. He's not married. And very quickly they got married. I think that guy was sponsoring her as some spouse visa or something to, to help her to get her green card, stuff like that. Her life has changed completely ever since her met that guy. Yeah, that is so magical. That is so powerful, right? <laughs> Sometimes when you are with the wrong person, your life sucks. But once you move out of a certain relationship or certain environment situation, you just start thriving. It is so magical. The funny thing was that ever since she met her current husband, her lifestyle has changed a lot. The things she posted on WeChat has changed a lot as well. Uh, they were so different from the things she posted before. Actually, I'm not sure should I call it showing off or just living her own life. I don't know. Basically, yeah, she posted a lot of things uh, related to new car and a uh, new watch and uh, new bags and uh, new shoes and uh, those uh, expensive clothes, stuff like this. Um, yeah, back then there was a period she was crazy about posting things like this. I still remember one time she posted a picture of a gift she received from her husband. It is a watch. What type of watch? It is Rolex, Rolex, 
Rolex. Yes, I have to repeat because I was so shocked. I know you might be thinking that she must be a gold digger. That's why she chose to marry that American guy who is much older than her straight away to get green card or citizenship. Honestly, I think we might be too shallow about this because, because now even after seven, eight years passed, they are still together, okay? And very often I still see how much she appreciates her husband and how much she loves her husband. You know, I don't think she faked it. I don't think so. I would say for her, her gratitude and appreciation towards her husband is bigger than the love she has for her husband. You know, I would say in a situation like this, uh, plus her background and how she grew up, you know, uh, how she was hurt in her previous relationships for everything he did for her. He got her out of that situation, okay? Even though she moved to America, but she was not educated, you know, her English was bad and she was just doing some canteen jobs. He got her out of that situation. He provided a brand new life to her. He gave the things she had never ever been able to afford, you know? Honestly, if I were in her situation, I would never betray someone who treated me this way. I would never. Do you know why I shared this story? Honestly, uh, it has nothing to do with gold digger or not, or materialistic or not. Uh, on the other hand, it's just somehow because this story inspired me. It inspired me with three things. Number one, if you are unhappy with your current life, then you should do something about it, okay? Then you should make some change. You should list the things you don't like about yourself, about your life. Then you just do something, okay? You just make a move. That's how the Chinese woman, she changed her life. Guess what? Because she was so determined to move overseas she was so firm that she had to move to America to start over again. That's why she borrowed money from people she knew to pay for the agent, to get a visa, you know, then she could go to the USA, you know? You have to want something so strongly that you couldn't say no, you couldn't say I give up. You will try again and again until you achieve. Yes, you have to be so determined about this kind of thing if you really want to change your life. Number two, that's amazing and interesting how people could be treated so differently depends on where they are. Imagine you are from a country that they don't like dark skin or they don't like white skin or they don't like long hair or they don't like people has a little bit more fat. Guess why? You will be so adored, so admired and so appreciated when you move somewhere else. That's amazing. You know, you would be treated so so differently just because you move somewhere else. For example, some girls from Southeast Asia, for example, Thailand, they don't like their relatively darker skin. They want to be as pale as those Korean stars or Chinese female stars, you know, that's why they are crazy about whitening their face and stuff like this. But you know what? They are so popular in Western countries. Number three, life is full of surprises and possibilities. Yes, we should always bear in mind that no matter what happened in our life, okay, no matter what happened in the past, okay, there is always hope. You have to be positive and be grateful for what you already have right now, you know. As long as we have that type of attitude and mindset, then we will let go a lot of things. We will let go all the pain we have had. Then we can start over again. Then we can meet different opportunities and different surprises. You think your life would go anywhere or become better if every day you just being sad and lingering over the past, you know, just being really negative. You think your life will go anywhere? No, you wouldn't go anywhere. You will destroy yourself eventually. 